Hi guys, Audrey from RG Golf Academy here. Another tip for you, talking about getting stuck over the golf ball. A lot of golfers do this and it's not a good thing to do. A great example is to look at Keegan Bradley, the old, that's gonna hit it, going in. No, I'm not, I'm going back again. Now that's the other end of the spectrum. Um, but what you notice when he actually does go to hit the golf ball is he's pretty quick. Um, saying that Keegan Bradley's pretty quick is a bit weird because he takes an absolute age and he's back and forth, walks in, spin the club, down it goes, makes a back swing then, swings and misses the ball and back in again, like this. So this is a pretty good thing for him to do. Um, this is how he likes to hit a golf ball. But what we see a lot of with golfers um, every day here is that they are just focused on the ball and so stiff and thinking, well, well when are they going to hit it? And when they make adjustments, they do it. And when they look at the target, they go, quick looks. But they spend 90% of the time looking at the ball and then 10% of the target. That needs to switch, okay, to react to the target better and to hit better golf shots. It needs to be 90% target, 10% ball. Almost like the ball doesn't really matter. So if we be the standard golfer, they know that they have to stand behind over here, maybe out of shot there a little bit, um, but then they walk into the golf shot and they heads down and they're looking at the ball and then they set up and they've got so many things going on in their head and let's get that hold right, let's get this shoulder higher and then let's bend this knees a little bit more and let's get into this position and let's move around so you can see this a bit better. And then the final thing they do is they think, oh, well, I'm hitting it. I need to go over there a bit. And they're down, and they're very still, and then they make a golf shot. Now, I actually hit that all right, but um, there's no way I'd play golf like that. So this is what you want to do. You're right, start behind the ball. So if I'm hitting the ball towards you guys here, thinking, okay, where's my target? Eyes are up, let's have a look. That's what I want to do. Picture the shot. Jack Nicholas said, go to the movies. Uh, it's a great thing to do. Tiger Woods says, play to the picture. That's again, another good thing to do. So we're coming in here, so I'll just scoot round and walking in. And now the eyes are up. And you notice now I haven't actually looked at the golf ball. I'm focusing on where I want to hit the golf ball. Now when I look down, I expect to see that ball roughly in the right place. And if I need to make an adjustment, I need to get closer. There you go. But again, notice what I did. The adjustment is not looking at the ball. The adjustment is looking back at the target. So if I walked in, and let's get this wrong. So let's walk in and get this way off. So let's go for that 150 yard marker there. So we're walking in. So now I know, I haven't looked at the ball. I know that ball's way too far forward. And when I look down, watch how I make the adjustment. So I'm out of position, back up, move into position. Still need to go more. And then, now we're in a good spot. Stay nice and loose over the ball. And then when I feel like I'm ready to hit a golf shot, down. And go like that. Don't spend too, t too much time over the ball. Everything will get tight. The golf swing won't be fluid enough. So hope that helps. Please subscribe to our channel down in this description. And look forward to seeing you next time.